Cash, what do you think about this coronavirus, huh? What are you thinking about? Yeah, it's kind of how I feel. Look what we're not doing. We're not fishing, we're just looking at a boat. What is going on YouTube? Let me get back into sunlight here. Oh, there we go. I got a face. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Shacks Outdoor Adventures. Um, today, since we can't go fishing because of the uh, Caroni, Mr. Caroni is kind of ruining the world. I don't know if you guys think uh, the same thing I am, but we've legit had every event cancel up until the end of April. Um, it's kind of a problem because when you work off of events uh, and there's no events, then it's hard to pay your employees, it's hard to pay people. So unfortunately we've had to lay off about 12 people and I have a feeling that the layoffs are gonna continue. Um, I'm not sure if the government understands the, this, keeping everyone in their homes. I understand the safety behind it, but this is a real problem uh, to small business that survives off of the public. So I know I'm not the only one in this boat. I'm sure most of you guys that our hardworking folks are experiencing some sort of deficiency uh, with uh, your work environment. Good thing is, is that they haven't really banned all of the lakes, so finding a lake to fish at will be easier. It's just the stupid ass weather here in Cincinnati is so wish-washy. Today it started out at 32 degrees in the morning and now it's uh, like 45 which in normal circumstances I'd want to go fishing, but you don't know if it's gonna rain or not rain or what the deal is. So today, let's get to the point of this video. I know you guys don't want to hear me rambling, just another dude talking, but these videos might become a little bit more frequent because um, I have more time on my hands. So um, with that said, we are going to knock out changing over these lights to LEDs. So I have a light in here, and then, uh, let's see if you can see that. A tail light and then another uh, blinker light there. I'm gonna change all these over to LEDs because uh, I have nothing else to do and two of them are burnt out and I'm tired of replacing them. So I'm hoping the LEDs will um, actually make things a little easier so I don't ever have to change these things again. With that said, um, Let's get into today's video. So here is what I purchased. Dude, those church bells. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they drive me nuts. They go off every freaking day, like 6 a.m. No reason. Anyway, so I purchased uh, two of these amber uh, tail lights. I think that might actually be red. Oops. Well, that's what happens when you send a color colorblind dude to the store. And then I purchased uh, two amber LEDs. Um, Actually, there's four total. It looks like the fitting's the same, but I guarantee I'm going to have to replace the uh, fittings that are currently on there because uh, something won't work because that's just the way things go when I start doing things. It's always ten times harder than I want it to be. So I'll take you along for this ride. This is the first time I've, well, the second time I've actually changed one of these. So hopefully it goes easy. If not, you'll hear me cussing, screaming, and uh, that's about it. Got the boat hooked up, not taking it anywhere. Got cash. What are you doing, bud? Sit, sit. Oh yeah, he listens real well. He's a good dog, but doesn't listen to anything. Cash, sit, sit, sit. All right. Also, he's got some dandruff, so if anybody knows any tricks to that, apparently his food is uh, drying him out a little bit. Plus he's inside a lot now, but. Anyway, let me, uh... Let me get to this video. So basically, I have to wire that fitting on to go in there. Although, they are the same. I think because that is sealed, I should probably go ahead and just put the wires on the back side. This one, I got lit up. It's not nearly as bright, so I'm not sure if you can see that. It's kind of an amber color, so maybe that's why, but uh it's going going pretty uh pretty annoyingly 
So basically the first thing I'm going to do is unhook the switch, which pops out, looks like, looks like that. Should be a little grease on there just to kind of keep it lubricated. And then I'm going to unhook this one as well, right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the light out. So if you go forward, it's a little easier. Pull out that, knock off the dust, quite a bit of dust. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the new gasket. Put that in. There's a little lip that you want to make sure you get it underneath so the light stays in. See, it kind of fits right up in there. Just want to make sure that's sealed all the way around. That'll make sure that the light stays in. I'm not driving down the road and thing falling out. It's kind of crazy how basic these things really are. But it is a trailer, so make sure that gasket's sealed. Oh, there we go. Get it all the way around. All right. And slide in the new light. This I will need to take two hands for, but you're basically just going to slide it in like so. It's nice and taut now, very flush, and that should uh, hold very well. And I'll show you the back side. See, it's tight in there. It's not coming out. No pressure. All right, and then we'll plug in the wire. See right in there. It's sitting flush. Wires are kind of hanging. And then all the lights pull back in, which now we have more of a red LED versus a uh, amber, which that's the amber red. It's a different student LED incandescent. <clears throat> so that is that. Plug that back in, tuck the wires. Cash. He's happy too. Worker is working. Everything is back up to normal. All right, guys, got it all done. Blinkers are working now. Now I can drive safe without having to worry about getting a ticket because safety is first. Uh, when you're out on the road with a boat, the last thing you want to do is get rear-ended with one of these bad boys. I've seen too many bad accidents. I appreciate all the support over this time frame. If you're bored, check out the rest of my videos. I have plenty of them out there. Um, this whole fix cost me about $25. If you guys are looking to do things right now, the best thing you can do is work on your boat, get that thing running. Uh, I put out another video briefly on all the maintenance stuff I did prior to going to uh, Norris. But uh, if you guys ever want to see a maintenance tip or have a question, feel free to DM me down below or uh, shoot me a message on here. Uh, appreciate all the support. Uh, these did come from China, so proud of the corona now. So stay away from me. Peace. See you next time.